This is the fourth video for the Freiburg Basel Reloaded, uh, the adventure, I would say, of, uh, that I've had in getting the route, um, the Freiburg Basel route installed, the Reloaded mod done, the uh, testing that out, and then downloading uh, some scenarios, and then getting those scenarios to work with uh, a, some, with the rolling stock that I have. Um, the first video covers some basic things. It's kind of video zero in that it covers the file structure for Train Simulator and some of the basics about installing TS tools, which I use to do the, the, this year. So if you're familiar with the file structure of uh, Train Simulator and uh, the TS tools, you can skip that. Video number one goes through the installation of the basic route of Robert Basel and the um, uh, downloading and installing the mod. And then video two, uh, which is actually the third video, but it's video two, uh, is uh, the adventure of getting the sin a scenario um, modified to work on the on the route <clears throat> so if you all you want to do is um do the mod on the route you can at that point once you're done you can start creating your own scenarios or do you know whatever you want to with it uh so the the that is you're basically done with the modification and it also that video covers why i was interested in doing the modification for my interest primarily it was to make some corrections and improvements on the signaling system so that's what we're going to check out now that we have the uh, mod installed and we have the um, uh, a scenario working I'm going to close out some of my other windows that I've got here that I'm not using. Um, so, there we go. Okay. So, this is a standard scenario, and um, it is for the Fraubrug Basel 2018 Reloaded Final Edition with some. A scenario that we installed and then modified so we've got the um, this is the modification the modified scenario that we run that we uh, are working with it's gonna be an easy run Today, it's a straight, straight run from Basel to Freiburg uh, without any intermediate stops. Uh, we've got a um, 103 that we are using. And we will go ahead and open the... Well, let's go ahead and put up the... All right, uh, we already are forward. We will do a, trying to remember, shift seven for CIFA. Turn on our PCB mode and we should be, oh, active for passengers. So we're gonna go ahead and do a, um, a run with uh, full safety systems turned on. I will, because of that, I will be spending, I don't think for this train, I get good s signals or symbols coming up here for um, SIFA. So in order for me to pay attention to it, I probably will going to spend most of my time in the cab. I'll do some looking at the scenery, but um, uh, this is my, this will be my third full run. Uh, and uh, the first run I did was just installing the, the basic mod 
and doing a quick drive. Um, so check out the scenery, and, and the scenery overall is, is very well done. I'm very pleased with with the scenery itself. Uh, and I, the uh, signaling systems and the magnets and everything uh, seem to be working quite well. So I'm pretty happy with the effort, uh, at least so far, of, uh, of working with this here. So let's go out and take a look here. Uh, we've got, uh, real quickly, I will go back up here. And we've got an ICE train. Got some more cars over here. Um, so, all right, we are ready to go. So let's see. Remember. Come out. Move it down here. Got a horn, which we probably wouldn't be using in real life, but. All right, we have um, our safety systems are active, so we need to keep our speed under 45 to start off with. Uh, we have a speed limit of 100 kilometers per hour right now. And uh, we've got a green light, so we can increase. There we go, sorry. Got a little bit of wheel slip here with this train. Got a hundred kilometer marker here. We're at 31, so yeah, I need to start paying attention to uh, SIFA here. 34. Still got to cover our distance before we get released to um, speed up. We should be coming pretty soon. Here's our green double green and I'm going to oh there we go we're not blinking there so we can go ahead and move up to 110 120 once we get up to the back of the train passes Well, I'm getting a lot of real slip. Put sanded a little bit here. Not certain why I have uh, so much wheel slip. All right. So, 120. There's our train. Oh, I thought I swapped that out. <laughs> well, we still have some fixing to do on our consist. Um, I, s it could happen, you know. Double green. Let's see if we can get our speed up a little bit more. I swapped the engine, and I thought I swapped the, uh, the when I did the, the swapping in uh, TS Tools, I didn't quite get all the stuff there, but. All right, we have a uh, 110. So we can. We're not quite to 110, so we're good there, and it's above uh, 100, so we don't have any PCB acknowledgement that we have to worry about. We've 
Double green. One thing I've noticed on this um, scenario, uh, it has a really decent amount of traffic on it, which is there's where 110 officially now. Have a, it has a really decent amount of traffic on it, and the uh, route itself is, in my opinion, done very well. So it would be it'll be a fun route to create my own scenarios on. And there's a little bit view, better view of the surroundings. Pay attention to the signals here. Make sure I don't. Like I said, I've only done this route twice before, so I'm not very familiar at all with it. Uh, matter of fact, um, let's see. Uh, looking good there. Nothing to react to for BCB. Uh, we are at, oh, we're in 160, so we can crank this thing up now. And hopefully we won't get any wheel slip here. <clears throat> There's our 160 again. So we can... Again, since I've got all the safety systems on, I'll probably stay in the cab quite a bit. But now that I hit CIFA and I see nothing coming, it's a green signal up here. And we can kind of... All right, we are dropping down to 120. So No, now we've got an 80. Oh, didn't didn't do it quick enough. So our <laughs> Oh, I didn't acknowledge the 80. So PZB is working. That was a test. So it certainly did say 80 and I started slowing down, but I I didn't uh, acknowledge it, so that's a good. All right. Whew. All right, so that's a good good test. And let's see if we've. All right, we should, oh, let's go forward. There we go. Everything reset. 
and That was an unintentional test of the safety systems. So we should be in, there's our 80, 80 kilometers per hour. So we are finally up to that point. We have to keep an eye, we're not flashing on anything. So we are almost to 80 now. See file. Lights off. All right, forty eight kilometers to go. We're still at 80, so I didn't miss a sign. All right. There we go. Got a signal here, we're at 90, so we can, once we are past the 90, one, two, three, uh, we should be good there, we can go up to 90. Back off on the throttle a bit. 100. One gantry, two gantry, three gantry. We should be pretty close to it, close enough. Uh, we can move this up, get our speed up to 100. It's a nice freight train. And cool. It's all freight cars. <laughs> Sometimes I have a bit of a challenge when I'm swapping stock to get the right stuff in. I'm still getting familiar with the decoding of the um, symbols and letters, or the, rather, 
for the for the stock that's there. Yeah, I'll back off a little bit on the speed. See, file. Let's see. We are still at 100. Okay. Yes. Yes. I know. And we are. Ooh, at 70. Acknowledge that. Wait a minute. I acknowledged it. Oh, I hit end instead of page none. Ah. All right, fine. Well, it was a second test. <laughs> and it did good. Let's see if we can get through one of these. Page down. Let's... Um, and... Forward. Well... We got a romp down. Well, let's see. Let's make sure everything's shut off and acknowledged. There we go. Yeah, we've got our flashing symbols here, so we keep it under 45 to start off with. It sounds like we're slipping. I see E train coming along. Approaching 40, and we are still in a 45 environment. Uh, we'll back off a little bit on our throttle. All right, now we can go up to 70, which is our speed that we're coming up with. Green signal, so nothing to respond to there. There's our 70. Uh, we have a green, so nothing to respond to there. We're at 62, 65, so. Creeping up to 70. Okay, there's 100. I'm going to back off on the throttle a bit until we go past... Uh, a few gantries here. All right, that should be probably close enough or close to it. We can get the throttle up a little bit.
Now let's see if we can go through a speed limit change or signal where I respond correctly. Oh, okay, we're on LZB if we had LZB. Cruising at a hundred, or close to it. Still at a hundred. Making sure I didn't miss a sign here. We can crank speed. One sixty, one gantry, two gantries, three gantries, four, five. Uh, should be good. We can start speeding up. Sounded like some wheels slip a little bit. Sixty again for the speed. Out in the farming area now. One forty for the speed, so we're slowly creeping up. Another freight train. Mixed freight.
Okay, still at 160, good. All right, so pay attention to the signals here. We have uh, 30 kilometers to go. Double green, four signal, so that is looking good. Lots of signals through here, so I'm going to stay in the cab for a bit. Looks like LZBs. If we had LZB, we could be cruising along without worrying about a, st a thing. Autopilot, sort of. I mean, we're approaching our target speed of 160. This little engine uh, takes a little while to um, get rolling. Probably because it has that ICE unit on the back. A lot of pretty heavy. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah. Wasn't paying attention to Sifa. Trying to look around. Oh, is an interesting engine there. All right, double green, four signal. That's looking good. We're creeping back up to 140. The little engine that could. Uh, another green signal, double green, and we are moving to 120 for speed. So, apply brakes a bit. And we've got 120 again, so release brakes, CIFA. Another yellow signal coming up. Uh, 120, it's green. We are at 120, so we're good. There's our 120. And apply a little bit of throttle here, maintain. Back to 160. As slow as this here, we can go ahead and open the throttle up. By the time we get to 
120, we should, the end of the train should be past the 160 mark. Not going to stay out of the cab too long <laughs> in case I miss something. I don't want another panic stop. All right, green signal. Tinker. Now, from the original scenario, I had to remove um, a number of things that were on sidings and stuff. Um, mainly, I remo just removed uh, miscellaneous engines so I would not get the out-of-memory error. So I could start putting stuff with that back, but um, I think it has a pretty good selection of stuff in the yards as it is. Um, may I might add some wagons and a few engines and see how much I can get away with before I get the out of memory error. All right, we are green, green. All right, we made it through here. We've got 14 kilometers to go. So we're moving right along. We're probably going to get some speed changes so we can test out my reaction for PZB. Pretty sure with this train it is page down key to acknowledge. One I missed, and the second one, I think I may have hit the in key by mistake. So. Okay, double green. I did manage to go through uh, two runs with this with PZB without any problems. Though it's the fact that I'm recording this is probably <laughs> makes my fingers miss. We got a yellow sign coming up. I'm going to start reducing throttle. We're at 110, so that's not going to take an acknowledgement. But we're going to take some braking here. And ease off on the brakes. OK, there's our 110. are nine kilometers away. Double green. No action for that, although I'm probably expecting, of course, some 
There's 130. But we could actually start speeding up a bit. Oh, let's wheel slip again. Probably not going to get to 130 by the time I have to slow down again. One fifty. Uh, five point six kilometers. Okay. Some of the reflections, it looks like a yellow, so I was, thought I might have to acknowledge that. Bring the throttle down and start coasting a little bit here as I got a flashing green. So we've got a flashing green to 120. Acknowledge that. It's a 120, probably shouldn't need to, but we've got another flashing green. Get the HUD on so I can see. One twenty. But flashing green, I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge it anyway, just to make sure. We are down. One twenty. We've got one point two seven kilometers to go. On 301. Oops, hit the emergency. Well, only had a couple of um, LCB um, items to respond to. I missed both of those, but uh, it was my fault. And so uh, I think I can say it was a good run as far as testing out um, the signal because they were certainly working. All right. There we go. Let's... Uh, let's see, we got a train over here and some another train over there. 
Uh, it's got some nice things sitting around here. So, whoa, that is a long train. Scenario incomplete. Well, I don't know why it says that, but I had a good run. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I think that uh, it's a success as far as the mod is concerned. And um, the scenario, it ran up from the end, from beginning to end. And um, had a good testing of the signaling system.